Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Strive to Survive. So, I've done a little bit of off-camera work, and some of you are going to wonder why. Um, we now have a pig farm, and as I've mentioned before, cows are really the preferred meat source in Minecraft. They have the highest saturation, and they uh, heal you for, well, they generate the most meat pops. So, they're definitely the best food that you can get um, but recently they actually made pigs um, the same saturation and uh, meat pop filling power I don't know what you want to really call that but um, but they're the same as cattle um, cattle still give you uh, two resources though they give you the meat and leather whereas pigs only give you one the only reason I really started the pig farm is for the experience um, that you generate when you uh, feed and slaughter the pigs and as you can see we're no longer hurting for experience now I have 16 uh, levels and that's just from kind of doing some off-camera farming and all of my stuff is enchanted at least well I've got a lot of enchanted items so before where I was hurting for experience uh, it doesn't seem to be a problem anymore so that's why we got the pig farm up and running there and it, it obviously didn't take too much to do just a couple carrots to go grab some pigs from over there and then we didn't have much use for the carrots other than that anyways um, we can make golden carrots which is useful in brewing but other than that I mean I've got a pretty steady supply of carrots here we got 30 in the chest and uh, out there on the farm we got a bunch more growing so we need to use them for something so might as well be experienced but in this episode, what we're going to be doing, um, we're actually going to venture to the area um, near our other base. And I'm actually going to use some of these potions of swiftness to help us out here. Because it's quite a journey to there. And we're going to go through the nether. So let's, let's chug one of these potions of swiftness. And we'll hang on to our glass bottle, because why not? So these potions of swiftness should be good for 8 minutes and it's a 20% speed increase and these are one of the ones that we used when we were practicing brewing so we want to go to the mining expedition over here and what we're going to do this episode is we're going to find a use for all of the pumpkins that we've been creating well maybe not all of them but at least a few of the pumpkins that we've been creating and since it's kind of uh, well it's winter while I'm recording this episode so I don't know when you're watching it but uh, it's winter right now for me so I figured we would do something with kind of a snow theme so if we venture this way outside of our mining base you can see I've been here cutting down trees um, let's go this way obviously I've been here recently cutting down trees and we'll grab them up grab those but our destination is actually over here so let's head across this little lake um, almost keep going yeah, it's actually, you can probably see it. We're, we're headed for those uh, hills that are covered in snow. Well, mountains, I guess, is a better term for them. And I think the easiest way up is going to be somewhere over here. Oops, if we can jump. We'll just use our pick for the rest of this because I don't feel like doing a jumping puzzle right now. Plus, we could always use the cobble, so. Grab a little bit of this. And we're almost at the top. There we go. 
So this is a weird little biome over here. Um, it's almost like a plains biome, but with a bunch of stone. And let's see what they're calling this. This is actually Extreme Hills, which I can believe that that is Extreme Hills. I don't know so much about this, though. This looks more like plains to me, but they're still saying Extreme Hills. Yeah, alright, well, whatever. So, we're gonna head over here, though. The snow is our, our objective for this episode. So, that is, that is just weird looking. So, but yeah, we're gonna head up here, we're gonna grab some of this snow, so we're gonna need a shovel to do that. And, yeah, there's coal there, which we do need some coal, actually, so I might come back and grab that. But to get the snow, you need a shovel. If you try to break these blocks, um, well, let me demonstrate here. You don't get anything if you just do it with your hands. So you need to use a shovel, and then you'll get a snowball. So it's actually easiest to do it on the stone. That way, you only get that. If I do the dirt, I have a chance of hitting the dirt by accident. So, which we don't really need the dirt. So, and we're looking for probably two full stacks, and they stack the same as eggs in group of 16. So, and I'll show you in a bit what we're going to use these for. We need four more. There we go. So we've got two full stacks, and that should actually be plenty for what we want to do. Whoa, that is a... that's pretty deep. Alright, but I'm going to go grab this coal, guys, and then, well, a lot of coal here. I'm going to go grab all this, and then I'll meet you guys back at the uh, mining base, and we'll go from there. See you in a bit. Alright guys, slight change of plans. So I was mining for coal over here. And that's that's right where we got the snow, so this is literally right here. And I started getting the cave sound and hearing a bunch of zombies, so we're, we're going to head into this. As you can see, I had to dig, a, dig around a little bit, but eventually found the cave here. And there's more coal in here. And I kind of just want to check this area out. We haven't really found a dungeon yet, and I'm kind of hoping by the amount of zombies I'm hearing, maybe this is a dungeon. So, that's my hopes. We'll, we'll see, though. And it's it's not looking too promising, to be honest. It looks like it's just a... Ooh, zombie villagers. So, I'm not sure if I actually showed off this sword yet. It's a diamond sword with knockback 2 and sharpness 3. So, it, it usually will one-shot them. Um, but if it doesn't, it at least knocks them back. It's not great for skeletons, because... Skeletons, when you knock them back, they just have a chance to shoot you more, so not really the best choice. And it's looking like this is just a cave that's filled with tons and tons and tons of coal. Um, but I guess it's not a terrible thing. It could be a lot worse. And that looks like it leads back up. And th that just circles around right there. So yeah. Not a dungeon like I was hoping, but at least we can gather up some more coal here. So that's what I'm going to do, guys, and I'll meet you back up at the surface. See you in a bit. All right, guys, so we're back again, and I finished up mining out that uh, little cave branch we found. And as you can see, it's dark outside. So we're going to try to make our way back, um, maybe do a little bit of fighting here. Man, that guy has some nice golden armor. Get out of here. Zombie apocalypse over here. Not really sure where that little one went off to. Yeah. There he is. Yeah, so as you can see, if I was to crit on these guys, I can usually either one or two shot all of them. So, it's actually a pretty nice sword. The problem is, like, against this guy, it knocks him back, which gives him another chance to shoot us. Which is not necessarily a good thing. So, I believe back this way, 
is towards our base. Hit that guy so hard he took falling damage. Alright, so let's, yeah, let's head over this way. In the hopes that this is actually... Yeah, it looks like it is. I can see a torch over there. And... I'm trying to find a place that we could just jump into this water. That'll do. Eh. So I don't know about you guys, but every time I see one of these chickens in the water, I want to call them a duck. And I think that would be cool if somehow Minecraft introduced ducks into the game. I don't know. It'd just be something different, I guess. But Alright, so we're almost back to our base here. And we're going to have to go through this forest, which is going to be a pain at night, but maybe we'll get lucky in there. Well, I was going to say there won't be any skeletons or spiders here, but there, there definitely are. So, And we also found this ravine on the way over there. I'm going to stay away from it just in case we get shot from behind or spidered. But yeah, there is a ravine over here as well. I haven't really, I went down there a little bit, but didn't find anything really interesting, so just came back up. Alright, so I th I'm pretty sure our potion of swiftness is now gone. So let me chug this other one. There we go. And we'll head back towards our real base. that way. Definitely this way. And we're almost there. And then we'll be able to um, well, if we can go down this ladder. There we go. Take a chance to eat there. And I have no idea where that ghast is that we always hear over here. I, I can't see him from any of these little peepholes that we got, so yeah, not sure what his deal is, but all right, so it should be close to daytime. If yeah, it's getting pretty close. Yeah. It's definitely getting pretty close to daytime here. So let me put away some of this stuff that we gathered, and then I'll catch up with you guys once it's daytime here, guys. See you in a bit. All right, guys, so we're back. And as you can see, I'm standing in a, well, it's too deep, and it's a 4x4 four four pit. And you know, honestly, you can make the pit as big as you want. Um, it's not going to be important to what we're doing. You just need to have it be uh, too deep. So... Um, I know in the past, like for the chicken pen, which as you can see is over there, um, we've used ladders to get in and out of these, but I found another trick, and um, one of my friends actually showed it to me. Um, you can just put a trap door like that, and it won't work this way, but if you open it, then you can use it to get in and out, which is pretty swift because then monsters, same as ladders, they don't know how to navigate on that, so we can get in and out very easily and uh, the bad guys can't so and whatever we're gonna store in this pit for those of you who haven't guessed yet they can't either um, so what we're gonna do here let me just do this because there we go um, we're gonna grab our snow and we're gonna turn it into blocks so we'll get four there we actually only need it one stack of snow but you never know when you'll lose uh, something on the way back. So, And we're also going to go over here. And we don't need you, dirt block. We do need these pumpkins, though. We'll take you and you. And that'll be enough for what we're looking to do. So we're going to go back to our pit over here. Get our snow and our pumpkins. And yeah, we're making snowmen today, so there we go. We'll go like that. We'll go like that. Now to make a snowman, it's actually only two pieces of snow with a pumpkin on top. We're going to make two of them, though, so that's why we did it like that. So there you go. There's two snowmen there. 
and they're actually useful. Um, they will defend you against enemies, so we can make like guard towers with snowmen up in them, and they would throw snowballs at enemies. And the snowballs don't do any damage, but uh, they will keep the enemies at bay. Um, but the real reason we got them is now we can come here whenever we want, since whenever they move, they generate snow, like if we push him along. See? He generates snow behind him. So now we have an endless supply of snowballs. As long as it... Apparently we could just keep smacking that guy and he'll give us snowballs. Or he'll die. Well, that's no good. Yeah, so don't don't hit the snowmen. They, uh, they're pretty fra fragile. Um, but we'll go grab this other pumpkin and make another one. The other thing that will kill a snowman is rain. So... We're going to have to build them some sort of shelter. And we don't need that tree right now. We're going to have to build them some sort of shelter. And I, I don't know if this actually works. Um, but I'm, I'm going to try putting a roof over their head and seeing if that protects them from the rain. Because we know that we do have some rain showers in this biome that we're in. So there you go. Now you two have your little friendship there. Um, I'm going to put fences around them too so a creeper can't just, you know, walk into them and explode. So, we'll do this real quick. And one there. Get out of here, flower. One there. We'll put uh, gates there. Let's do this. that right there. Make ourselves some gates. There we go. Put a gate there, put a gate there. Just plant that flower so it's not messing about. And I'm going to do this. We're going to go up to up to up to, and you'll see why I'm doing this in a second. We're actually going to fill this area in too, because I'm there we go. Okay. And we're going to take glowstone, and we don't have enough to do it all right now, but we're going to put one on top of each one of these, like a post. And then we'll build our roof over that. So let me go grab some more glowstone, guys. And I think we have some in the chest over here. And then uh, I'll meet you back here, and we'll finish this up. All right, guys, so we're back. And what I'm carrying in glowstone right now is actually the last of what we have in our chest. We had uh, 20 pieces down in the brewing chest, and I've grabbed it all so that we can finish up this little project. And we're going to have to go down in the nether and get some more glowstone, basically which, I mean, it's not my favorite task, but I'll just do that off-camera so you guys don't have to deal with it. And that should do. Now, if we didn't have to worry about the rain, we could just leave it like that. That's pretty well protected. Nothing's going to really get in or out of that pen. But, unfortunately, we do have to worry about rain. So, we'll just do some half slabs here. And that should be plenty hopefully, but we'll just kind of jump up here and go across, and hopefully this will protect these guys from the rain, and I actually don't think that's enough, um, half slabs that I got here, but we'll see. That's definitely not going to be enough. It's barely enough to do the outside here. So let me hop down and make a couple more. That should hopefully do it for us. And we'll just jump back up there. And... Not exactly what I had in mind. Um, what I really want there... There we go. I want it to go up a level. So then we'll just go around. And now we've got 
way too many of these, but that's okay. Oops, we're going to have to break that one. Yeah, so now the hopes is that this little roof will keep the rain off the snowmen and they won't uh, be killed by the rain. But there you have it. We've got an endless supply of snowballs as long as the rain doesn't kill these guys, um, which we could turn into more snowmen and have them patrol our grounds if we really wanted them to. Um, like I said, there's not really a point to do that. They will keep enemies back, but the snowballs don't do any damage. So it's more of a just a kind of fun thing that you can do if you're bored in Minecraft. So. Um, but I guess that's it for this episode, guys. I'm going to go get some glowstone so that we have some for some future episodes. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.